Hi, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to paint a pine tree. So we'll start off by painting in the tree trunk. So for that, we'll take in some white, yellow ochre, and just a touch of orange. And let's drop in the tree trunk right over there with the rigor brush. Turn the brush. And now I'll grab in some thick paint. The background is completely dry. Let's drop on some of that thick paint so that the value remains when the painting is dry. And now I'll go into some black. Take off the excess paint. Let's come over here and just place in some more of that. Load in thick paint. I'm doing it immediately so that the blending happens. And now I'll take another tree and texture brush. You could use any small brush for this. And just blend this. And now with my flat brush, one out flat brush. I'll come over here and just drop on more of that highlights. Add it just a bit of a local to get that warmth and now we'll go with some black and just place it in right over there on the opposite side the lights coming across from the right add in some more water because the paint was drying let's come over there and let's drop in from the top go back to another small brush just blend it and blend the bottom of that tree trunk. Look at that, it's that easy. Let's go ahead and place in the twigs and the branches using the rigor brush. You could even make use of the script liner brush for this. I'm gonna place it right over there from the middle of the tree. Look at that, just sort of getting that effect. So and then pretty much do the same thing till over here maybe let's see now some sap green yellow ochre and touch of black let me show you the color so the color looks something like this so taking a mid-tone color load a brush full of paint and let's drop in some of those leaves and stuff okay something like that and Maybe we'll skip some spots. I'm using the worn out flat brush. This is different from the manipulated flat brush that I use. Loading more of paint, more of black. Just trying to get that depth. Look at that, cover the tree trunk with that. Each time I go back and reload the brush, I ensure that I change the color a bit. Look at that, it's that easy, just tapping it. You want it to be symmetrical. Differentiating with the shapes, directions, angles. Now I'll hold the brush like that. Let's drop in the edge of the tree that defines the shape of the tree. And now I'll take in some black and just place in right over there. Adding in some textures and some shadows at the same time. Don't want to cover the tree trunk completely. There, that also acts like texture and adds contrast to the painting. And you can pretty much transfer this technique to any of your landscape paintings. And I'm going to paint less of that black on the right side. And I'm not going to reload my brush now because I want very little of that over here. And now let's go ahead and drop on some of that 
highlights on the tree trunk that is getting filtered by the leaves. Now I'm taking some lime yellow and green and some white. Load the brush full of paint and I've taken the modified flat brush. Then let's start from here. It comes all the way up till there. Look at that. Just happening it very lightly up to the top of that tree. Change the angle of the brush. Skip some spots. Don't overdo in the same place. Just trying to group them. So now this is the highlight phase. And I might go with a coat of green, just green to get that depth. Now take in some green without cleaning the brush. And let's drop on some of that mid tones. Maybe it's going to get more over here. Look at that, penetrate into the highlights. That's going to make it look realistic. I'm still using the modified flat brush. Introduce some of that lighter color. And sort of place in right over there. Load in thick paint. Do that and the bottom is going to be slightly darker than the top. Okay, something like that. And I will go with another coat of shadows. So I've taken some black without cleaning the brush. And even over here I'm skipping some spots so that the previous colors are shown, are seen through. And for this, I'm making use of the modified flat brush. Look at that. And now I'll take up my green texture brush. And let's come right over there. And just drop on some more of that highlights. And this time I've added a bit of white, just a bit of white some shiny leaves with this I come to the end of this tutorial I hope you have enjoyed it and thanks for watching